All right, so some of you may be like me and you have a lot of different windows open at once, uh, like this. You know, you got code running and then you got the documentation for the code and you got Google stuff open and Stack Overflow because you don't know what you're doing and you got music in the background because music's awesome and then you got more code in the background because you don't know what you're doing and you're disorganized and you got Git for managing all that code and then you got like all these windows open it's a nightmare to deal with. Well, one way you can deal with it is by using a wonderful feature that was implemented for hold on, Lion, one Mountain Lion, so a few years, a few years since since the version Lion, um, and it's really cool. You press one little button on your keyboard, boop, or do a keyboard shortcut or mouse shortcut or whatever, and you're in this beautiful interface, and it lets you move all your stuff to different desktops and organize like that, and that's great. But sometimes you want everything on one desktop. For instance, all of these things are related, so I want them on one desktop. But there's a lot of windows to manage, and you might say. Wait a minute, there's a way to do that. If you go full screen in your application and then go back to the desktop you are working on, you can drag, that's not it. You can drag and drop the windows from different applications in and create a split view. And I say, yes, that's great. And you can also manage them. I don't know, I continue to speak like that. You can also manage them and like kind of divide them up in different ways and divvy huh, uh, them up in different ways. And that's great. But what happens if you're on a third window or four windows? or five windows. Who am I kidding? This isn't Windows. Um, so you can't really do that until I introduce you to this brand new app called Spectacle. Do you see it yet? No, you don't, because it's running as a background process. It's actually here. It is running. And what it does is it lets you modify whatever window size you have of any selected window you have on your display using all these wonderful keyboard shortcuts. And I know what you're thinking, oh my goodness, wow, this looks complicated. Why are you doing this to me? Well, I'm doing this to you because keyboard shortcuts are the fastest way to communicate between you and your computer. If you still rely on your mouse, well, uh, you probably shouldn't be. If you want to be super fast and efficient, I'm not saying the mouse is horrible. It is a great thing, but this lets you do it much faster. I'll give you an example. Let's say, for example, I want to open uh, two finder windows, right? Boop, boop. Open two of them, right? And I want them split half and half. Well, first I gotta drag this one all the way to this corner and then measure it out just so that it's halfway and then do the other one to the left corner and measure it just so it matches up perfectly. And oh wait, it doesn't, hold on, wait, this one's a bit off. Now I gotta line that up properly and then get this one and line that up on the bottom and make sure on the top, oh, that's a little bit to the right. There we go, and it took me that long just to get two windows. I'm on a third finder window, boop, uh-oh. Well, let's say I want this kind of like paired up on the left side, well now I gotta, get this one measured up and kind of eyeball and see is that halfway sure why not and get the uh, what i'm trying to point is making this very tedious so the way you do this in spectacle is you got to learn all the keyboard tricks i'm going to take you through them one by one and they are really not that bad once you get used to them they're muscle memory at this point for me so i'll just be using finder windows because they're really versatile and easy to use and kind of move around um, and also you have them every comp mac computer is finder so yay so the way you start off is the first easy command is um Command Option C, or Option Command C. Um, this just centers whatever window you have full screen, or in whatever window you have in the center of your screen. Really useful, right? So if I have a window over here, oh, I want it center, boop, right in front of me. Really cool, right? The next one uses the same modifier keys, the Option Command, you gotta hold them down, and this time use the arrow keys. So if I do Option Command Left, uh, it moves it to the left half of the screen exactly in the left half. It calculates it based on some fancy resolution on your monitor. Um, and that works great. You can also do right, so you can see how useful that is already. Now the cool part is you can also do the half top and you can also do half bottom. So this makes it really interesting for doing some really nice kind of split view work. So if we go back to my example from earlier where we're creating various finder windows, one issue about finder is that it remembers what your previous window position was. So I'm just gonna resize this down to some arbitrary size just for testing purposes. Um, and let's create like two of them. And then one to the split view one, look how much easier this is compared to our last one. Command, Option, Right, moves that one to the right, click on my mouse, select the other one, and then Option, Command, Left, sorry, I'm saying in different order, um, to do the other one, and boom, we are done. Um, actually, we can actually make this a little bit faster by if I first create this down to like some arbitrary size. Um, instead of using the mouse to switch between two finder windows, uh, you can actually use this keyboard, Command, uh, Tilde. Tilde is the little one above the Tab key to the left of the one and below the Escape key. It's the word squiggly. I forget what that is in Spanish, but there's a name for that. Um, and that lets you switch between, cycle between the windows in any currently selected application. So as you can see, if I do that, oops, not that. 
Not that. Uh, if I do this, you see it's moving the selection from the other finder menus. It's going to this weird one because I have a third one in the background, but yeah, we'll ignore that. So I can do, for example, if I create two more finder windows, I can do command option right and then cycle to the previous one and then command option left and boom, super speedy. Now, if that were all this application gave, it'd be kind of useful, but I mean, it's not super cool because everything on this channel has got to be super cool, right? Including late upload schedules. That's fire self burn. And the way more of the things you can do this app include, if I create a new finder window, reset it to an arbitrary size, um, include thirds. So if you do a command option left and you press it again, it extends it by a third. And you press it again, it shrinks it by two thirds, but in, really, in reality, it's cycling it by a third. So if I can just keep pressing this, it's cycling third value. So one third, or no, it's not one third. I don't even know. Math, quarters, I'm, in, I'm not smart. Quarter, 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 whatever. And then if I create another find a window, for example, and I do command option right, I've been holding command option down, I can also cycle through. So now I can have this pretty sweet two thirds, one third view, or three quarters, one quarter view, however the math works out. So yeah, and if you're wondering, can I do this vertically? Of course you can. So if I do a vertical window, I'll just click the same one and hit command option up, boom. It's exactly in the middle and then it's like that and then it's like that. So isn't that cool? All right, so let's do a quick review. If we create a new finder window, command option C centers it. Okay, I'm gonna resize this down so you can be more obvious. Command option C will center it. Um, and then by continuing holding on command option, we can do left for the left, cycle if we want to. Right to the right, cycle if we want to, just by keep pressing it, up, and then cycle if we want to, and then down, cycle if we want to, and then center to bring it back in the center. Now, this is where we get kind of advanced. These I don't really use very much personally, but they are there if you want to use them. Um, instead of using option command, we hold down control command, and by pressing either the right arrow key or the left arrow key, we can do quarters. Now these are actual quarters of the screen, not like, you know, your dollar bells. So, the way we can do this is just command option right or command option left. If you try to do command option up or down, it's going to do some weird stuff in Finder because that's like already a predefined keyboard shortcut, so don't really mess with those. The, now, you, now you may be asking, well, if I can't do up or down, how do I move it to the bottom to bottom right and bottom left corners? You just hold shift. Ta-da! See, it moves it to the other ones. And if I let go of shift, it moves it back up there. So. One thing why this is actually really useful, sorry I lied, I do use this one a lot, but not really for this purpose. The way I use it is for example when I'm opening a new terminal window, uh, this is kind of a weird size and it's not always in the center of my screen. And the way I can set it so it's at least semi-proportional to my aspect ratio is if I hold c control command right and that moves it to the top right corner and then combine it with the previous shortcut control command, sorry, uh, option command C, so you switch from control to option. Now we get a centered window that's proportional to the rest of my monitor. Isn't that cool? Um, and I think that's just about it. I think you can do, now we get sort of experimental section, I think you can do quarters with this as well. There's some way to do that. If you can figure that out, leave a wonderful little comment about that below. Another thing I just figured out in the middle of the testing is if you hold down all three of those buttons, uh, command, option, and control, and press the left or right, it moves it to another display. You can't see that, but trust me, it's happening. I do have another display plugged in. So that about ends it for this one. Um, Quick side note, there are other applications you can always use for window management. Some that come to mind are Divi, that was the pun from earlier, um, and that's actually about it that I remember from the top of my head. Just do a quick Google search, you'll find a few, and they have ones that do like Windows-like functionality where if you're not so like a keyboard warrior, you can use your handy dandy mouse and you can just drag the window to the side and it'll snap to the right, left, up, down, quarters, whatever. But I just like this method because it's a bit more kind of codey. Um, so yeah, that was all. Please like my server volume if you would like to see more Mac tutorials. Thank you. Can't really be what you really want to be, Kong. Um, looking at me, trying to be like Mona Lisa. I'm better than never. You just let us, I'm chilling like a pizza. See me like a minute, when I spend it in a minute, get it if you want to spend it fast like a visa. This is a prison, I wish that I knew other questions. I'm not too good at love, give me suggestions. I'm just loop, loop, what I become. Something dismissive, they don't want to listen. I tell them my story, they act like it's boring. I see that my mom and my dad is annoying. They just want to see glory, and it's not my look up in the morning.